Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter on this, uh, well, it's for May 19th, 2015 for Basic Sorgonomics. It's actually, uh, let me know if I sound a little bit different. We're doing this in the afternoon, just got off work, squeezing this in here before some Monday Night Raw and everything that surrounds that kind of situation. But anyways, uh, check out everything at Sorgatron.com. As you're listening to this Tuesday morning, I'll be teaching a class on Snapchat, Instagram, and Pinterest within, I think, two hours. And uh, we'll have a lot of uh, material up from that. I'm hoping to record it and be able to share it with all of you. And it'll be it'll be fantastic, you know? So, uh, weekly challenge time for this Tuesday. And, of course, last week, did you take a, take a look? Did you, did you poke at some new uh, social medias? Did you uh, do some Vines? Did you do some Instagrams? Did you do some Snapchats or whatever other one you were thinking of trying out? Uh, let me know. I, I poked around a little bit. Nothing really new. But then again, I am making a lot of content to begin with. So there probably wasn't much for me to stretch my legs. There's always something new, though. Um, and, and, uh, and, and I'm finding time to try to do that myself. And that's what today's about, actually, finding time. Um, of course, you know, as I mentioned, I'm here actually on Monday. This is typically the Tuesday show. And uh, trying to figure out, because uh, a lot of things got booked uh, for the next two weeks, of course, I'm doing some uh, social media classes for nonprofits down at the Carnegie Library, the, the awesome one over in uh, over in Oakland. So uh, I go, go to say hi to uh, Gertie the Dinosaur and all that. And, uh, and, and, and it's cool. You know, cool to be knowing you're teaching in a building that also houses dinosaur bones. Really awesome. But anyways, um, and I got thinking about, like, as I'm kind of juggling around in my head, where am I going to put these shows in? Where am I going to find the time to do the posting the way it needs to do? Um, what am I going to do Sunday? Because once again, I'm going to be in Greensburg doing a conference like I did out in Blairsville, actually, a couple weeks ago uh, for Sisters of Charity and Seclair. So I'm going to be out there doing that. So I obviously won't be here available doing the shows as I normally do. So we'll probably stack some stuff up. We'll probably rearrange. But uh, hopefully you'll still have your daily dose four days a week of uh, what we're doing with basic sorgonomics and uh, the daily shows we're doing for uh, some of our pro other properties here. Awesome cast, Russell Mayhem show. And, uh, and of course, insert coin to begin. And, and as I'm kind of uh, uh, really kind of assessing a lot of the shows and where they are and what value they have, or they are, you know, they're still part of the experiment. Um, you know, we're just where everything is on the network, you know, and, and, and kind of figuring out that time equation, right? And I think about a lot of times, uh, you know, this is the old, you know, the what motivated me, the crush it, Gary Vaynerchuk, you know, thought on everything is uh, if you really want to do it, you need to try to figure it out around your job, whatever it is, whatever that passion is, whatever that business is you're trying to start. And, and, and this is where I get a little weird with it because he does say, stay up. You don't need to go. Go, you, you can stay up until two, three in the morning and, and, and go to work the next day and just crush it and just keep doing it and keep finding that extra time to put in the work for what you want to do. Now, I am not an advocate of getting less sleep, even though I do it sometimes. Um, my Tuesday podcasting, I mean, you got to think almost 10 years now, at some point I really got dedicated to it, said this is the night where we do podcasting. Nothing else gets scheduled on this night. And I got uh, tighter and tighter on whether anything could replace it. And I have a very, very short list of things that will make me move my podcast. Very short list. Very, very short list before the family things that obviously I would have to and life things, right? Um, but, you know, it, it's it's where do you find your dedication? Where do you draw the line and say, this is a thing I'm going to do and no excuses are going to keep me from it. And that's my challenge is figure out what that is. Maybe a lot of you listeners haven't haven't figured out how to apply that thing. You know, I, I talked about in my in my blogs and maybe I have here about someday is poison. Someday is someday I'm going to do that thing. Someday I'm going to start that podcast. Someday I'm going to start doing funny vines. You know, meanwhile, you got guys like Rob on the run killing it this whole time on vine and making money at it. OK, maybe not a ton, ton of it, but, you know, he has had sponsorship deals out of it. and He still works at a TV station or whatever. So he still has the day job, but it's still something. There's some, you know, he, he's gotten something out of that, you know. Uh, 10 years ago, I decided to start a podcast and now I'm teaching podcasting. I mean, that's really cool. You know, I, I'm nowhere near where I want to be, but with what I'm producing, with getting out there, with making a living, right? Um, like you're never where you want to be as far as getting, 
making a living. I mean, let's be honest about that. But, uh, you know, you, you, you find a way and, and it takes time, you know, uh, anybody that has anybody up there that you're like, oh, it must so, come so easy to a Gary Vaynerchuk to be on top of the world and have his own company and everything. It's like, no, he worked his ass off. Nobody did. Uh, you know, the the painters didn't, the painter, <laughs> to quote Macklemore, the painters weren't great painters because they were born to paint. They did it because they did a lot, did it a lot. I've been co- podcasting for 10 years. Negligible, whether well, I'm good at it or not, I guess. But uh, somebody seems to like it. And, uh, you have to start at square one and you have to have that dedication to it. Anybody with a podcast, I always say 10 episodes is the formula. If you made 10 episodes and you did it on a regular basis, all right, you got a show and you're going to keep doing it. Right. But you can't, you know, you got to, and stuff happens. Maybe you'll miss a week here and there, but it has to be, you have to be pushed against that line for you to have to cancel that thing. Right. If it's easy for you, like, ah, do it next week. You haven't made it, man. It's not something you're passionate about. And you should really consider if that's the thing that you want to be doing. Um, so it is, you know, one thing a day, you know, it is. Where do I do that? Is this the thing that I do every day on my lunch? You know how I got to where I was, was every day on my lunch. Okay, I was watching Lost on Hulu, but I was also listening to podcasts i was also writing writing reviews i was thinking about like at at a certain point we were getting records in from from the sites i was running and we were doing reviews and and i got to interview so many of the people that i could just completely dig in the music and still listen to i was listening to i'm I'm diving back into my old playlists and i'm listening to like half of the bands that i'm listening to i've interviewed it's crazy and but I found the time to do that. You know, I'm trying to find the time, make the time within a a a media. Try to generate this media empire. I guess we can call it that. Um, I like these the, the uh, podcasting universe. Thank you, Matt Carlin. Like I'm still I'm still kind of wrapping my head around that idea with all the things we do around here. And uh, but but I found the time and you got to identify that thing. Or even if you just pick a thing and say, that's the thing. Is this the thing that I've been telling myself I've been going to do for a while? Now's the time to do it. And you're not going to be ready to do it until you're ready. That sounds really negligible. But, uh, you know, I mean, you're not going to be, you know, I had a lot of dreams. I had a lot of this going on, you know, and, uh, you know, ideas going on. And it wasn't until I'm like, I got to do something. I need to do something now. You know, and I still get that in certain aspects. I I still have partial projects and I still have other things that I sit on and sit on. And then it hits a point and I'm like, we're doing this now. And then we're not taking any excuses for it. And this is the thing. And my wife's going to hate me because of the thing is going to be that I'm, that I'm going to do. But thankfully, she loves me and supports me. That's also helpful, too. Hopefully you got a really good relationship there. Or if you don't have a relationship, if you're not tied down with a house and wife and kids, you have even less excuse. I'm I'm completely paraphrasing Gary Vaynerchuk stuff at this point. I know, but but it but it's true. You know, if you don't have those tie downs, you can be uh, more adventurous. And it's harder for us that do have a mortgage or the other things. And uh, and uh, yeah, so that's my challenge. I'm really challenging you now. We got the big one. Start that thing. Let me know if you started that thing. Let me know if you have a game plan and follow through on it. You know. Just sitting out there saying, I want to start a podcast on, hmm, you know, X-Files, whatever it is. Got this idea. It's been rolling around my head in a while. Or I want to be this. I want to be a comedian. I want to do something. It's the internet. You can put, you can, if you want to be a comedian, do a comedy podcast to see where it goes. Test out material before you even get in front of a, a stage and writing notes awkwardly. Reading notes awkwardly in front of an audience and bombing on a Wednesday night. Anyways. That's my thoughts for today. Round up because I came from work. Maybe this is the best way to do this. Maybe this will be an evening podcast. I don't know. Let me know what you think. At Sorgatron on the Twitters. Sorgatron.com. Which website are we plugging today? Please check out everything going on. We had a great Sawtooth Willie with uh, your Jagoff joining us this week. So please check that out. And so much more across the Sorgatron Media Universe. Uh, We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. 
Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.